I'm here with Sean at the Fluke booth, and he's going to be telling us about the 902 FC HVAC clamp meter. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the Fluke 902 FC uh, True RMS HVAC clamp meter. This is a great meter for the guys being out in the field. Uh, this meter has the ability to measure up to 400 amps AC. It's going to give you a temperature reading as well as give you the microamp reading that you can uh, check your flame sensors or your flame rectifiers on a gas fired unit. Uh, this thing will do up to uh, 600 volts AC DC. It's a great meter. We actually have a little demo right here. I can turn it over to amps. And you can see on the meter itself, we're getting 14.1 amps. So this is a great tool. Does it have a backlight? It does have a backlight right there. And that's what we have, actually, if you take our new product, the T6, which is a non-contact. Yeah, so as okay. you can see here, Bill, the meter is measuring voltage and amperage without using the traditional set of test leads that you would need to make that type of measurement. This is unique to Fluke. Only Fluke offers the field sense technology. It's fantastic. Okay, so uh, could you, can you show me the uh, 902 FC you again? Can. Uh, okay. There we go. There we go. So that's 14.1. So okay. a little bit off based on the technology where we're using a closed clamp here versus the open jaw effect on the other. Okay, so the closed clamp is going to be a little more accurate. A little bit more accurate. Right. But when Very we're good. out in the field and you're out trying to make measurements, uh, either or will uh, definitely be within 1 to 2 percent accuracy. Yes, excellent. Okay, what's the count on this meter? So this count here is a 4,000 count meter. Okay, this is 4,000 count and the uh, the T6 is? Same as well. Oh, four, okay, they're both 4,000 yeah. count. Okay. What functions uh, do we have here? So typically what an HVAC technician would need out in the field, whether you need capacitance to measure your run capacitors, you're going to need temperature measurements so you can check typically the what's going on with your system, whether it's your uh, incoming temperature, outcoming temperature, telling us what our condenser is using. We have our microamp uh, function where we run that through the meter itself. Okay, we have, show, show where the microamps is there. You bet, so the yeah. microamps is gonna be right there. Okay. And then from that point, we have our continuity and our ohms measurement. And then lastly, it's a voltage measurement that will self-determine if it's DC or AC. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so uh, this, this does something special. This does do yeah. something special. Yeah, I'm that's... glad you pointed that out. Yeah. This is one of our few meters that has the FC or Fluke Connect capability. That's why it says FC after That's 902, right. right? By downloading our free Fluke Connect app, you are able to connect this meter to your smart device and then log and measure on your phone what's happening on the meter itself. Okay, can we set that up with, with this measurement right here? You bet. Okay. Let me go ahead and get set up here. We're going to go ahead and it's very simple. You can see the Fluke Connect symbol right there. I'm going to come over here to my phone. I'm going to hit capture and as you can see so quickly the 902 FC is right there on our phone. Very good. Let's go ahead okay. and get that linked in. Great, so right now the function is volts AC. Let's go ahead and turn it. And you can see how quickly the phone adjusted to what the meter was doing. We're gonna go ahead and put this on the demo there. Okay. And you can see on our phone, it's like for like. The great thing about this is if you have a troubled situation or you're wanting to check the, the current of uh, whatever product you're looking at, whether it's your compressor or your condenser fan motors, but we can also start recording this. So now we're recording what's happening. So if you had something troubled happening out in the field, you were able to save this, analyze it, and then show your customer what's going on with the system. It's a great value and determination that you can go back and report what you're seeing.
All right, tell us about the recording. What can you do with the recording? So typically the recording is designed to where we can stop it, save it, we can assign notes to it. So especially if you're, this customer is a customer that you come out to on a regular annual basis, you can start making these types of recording to where you can start trending what's happening with their equipment. Maybe you're slowly seeing an old unit starting to malfunction and deteriorate on the motor amperage. Maybe the motor amperage is increasing. Little things like that will help us start analyzing and determining, even on this level, um, problems going on with systems. Can you get it into graph form? So I do have up here a graph that's already started. Oh, wow. So it was already done for you when you do send this to yourself and you can actually make a note to it and then send it with all your seat, all your forms and who you're going to send it to. It's perfect. Okay, so it's a digital graph. It's a digital graph. Uh-huh. Very good. Uh, but the graph doesn't appear on the 902 FC, no. it appears on your cell phone. That's right. That's right. Yeah, typically the only time you're going to see a graph on uh, a product is going to be more into your power quality and scope meters where you're seeing that type of uh, uh, detail. You can see that on the 289. Yeah. So yeah. as you are well aware of yeah. that type of functionality. Uh -huh. Yeah, but this is, is, you can see it right on your cell phone. Exactly. And this is a lot smaller and uh, more portable. That's right. The great yeah. thing with the, with the FC uh, functionality is that you can send this information to a colleague, uh, your supervisor, especially if you're getting into a situation where you're having trouble on a site and you need backup and information on what's the next step that we want to do. With the FC app, you're able to link in and call that individual and see even live um, the live measurement that you're doing now. Your colleague could see that as well based on that Fluke Connect app. It's a great asset. That is an asset, all right. Okay, uh, how far can you be away with a cell phone from the 902 FC? That's a great question. So typically with Bluetooth technology, on an open space like this with no interruptions, you can almost go about 90 feet. But obviously as we start getting blockages, uh, concrete walls, buildings, you, uh, you deteriorate that. So at max at times you might be 9, 10 feet based on maybe the meters in a closed box. Maybe you've got it in a distri distribution panel that you're wanting to make those measurements. So somewhere between 9 and 90 feet? nine and ninety okay all right so that's the fluke 902 fc and that's a great hvac meter Am I the right and place? you can use your cell phone with it and you can use your cell phone right? yeah and graph on your cell phone i would like to explain to all of our customers out there that if you ever see fc on a fluke product that means that it's fluke yeah. connect enabled whether it's got internal memory to itself or whether you can link it into your phone and log it directly onto your phone. So it's a great way to start trending, analyzing, and seeing what you're seeing out in the field that you can start um, getting this information back to your customers and back to your employers on what's happening. I'm going to be measuring the amperage amount uh, used by this Keurig coffee maker and I'm going to be using the Fluke 902 FC HVAC clamp meter, and this is a Fluke Connect. The FC means Fluke Connect. That means I can get all the measurements on my cell phone. So this is on, and it's reading zero amps, and, and I'm going to put it on an AC line splitter. Uh, let me explain this here. This AC line splitter has a times one area and a times 10 area. I'm going to put it on the times 10 area for greater accuracy, but I'll have to divide my readings by 10. Uh, so it's on the times 10 area and the line splitter is plugged into the outlet and the clamp meter is clamped into the times 10 area of the AC line splitter. 
So uh, first thing I'm going to do is get the uh, meter in sync with my cell phone. I'm going to say capture measurements right there. And here's the 902 FC. And I'll say connect. And it says connected. So we're ready to go. All right. I'm going to put it on graphing right there. So we've got a graph. It says 0.0, .0 amps AC right now. And I'm going to press record. Okay, so we're recording. All right, so now I'm going to put a cup of water in my coffee maker. And I put a, a pod of coffee in there. And I'm going to press make coffee okay so here's the here's the graph going right now it says 0.7 amps AC now we got to divide that by 10 so it's not using very much amperage yet it's using okay now it's using a lot of amperage it's using 11.42 amps AC 11.38 amps AC so you need to know this. This coffee maker uses a lot of amps, at least for a little while. And this is what the graph looks like. It was very close to zero. It wasn't really zero, but it's, uh, it was close. It's a little more, like 0 0.02 amps, uh, just with a little LED light on. And now it's jumped up. Remember, you got to divide this number by 10. So we've got 11.36 amps AC. Oops, I put my cup in there. <laughs> So it's heating up the water right now, and there is uh, some coffee in there, and uh, we got it on graph, and you can see it, there's 123 volts AC right now, so it also measures the voltage at the same time. Okay, so the amperage has dropped down, it's a 0 0.07 amps AC, so it's not using very much amperage right now, but it sure did. Uh, for a little while we'll be able to look and see how many seconds that took you see I don't know if you can see there's a little it says seconds right here uh, it's about 40 to 100 it was about 50 seconds it looks like where it was heating up the water so now we're getting coffee and you see you see the advantage of having this uh, fluke connect system with your cell phone uh, first of all, it's more accessible. Your cell phone's more accessible than the meter back here. And the meter, the backlight goes off sometimes. And so here's the cell phone, and here's what the graph looked like. You see, it, it got up to uh, between 11 and 12 amps, and it started at about 50 seconds, went to about 100 seconds. So there's about 50 seconds of it, over. 11 between 11 and 12 amps usage so you need to know this in a kitchen because a coffee maker uses quite a bit of amperage for a short time so that's the answer to the question this Keurig coffee maker uh, doesn't hardly use much amperage at all but it is using see all that's on right now is this little LED light Nothing's really on. The, the coffee's not being heated up. It's just a one cup coffee maker. And, but it is using 0 0.01 amps AC just to run this little LED light. So it's not true that these coffee makers use no electricity when they're just sitting here on the, on the counter. But it is a very small amount. So that gives you a good uh, idea of that. And it uses a lot of electricity for 50 seconds. That may not be enough to uh, blow your circuit breaker, but it's certainly something that you should know about, especially if you have an older house. You don't have a lot of circuits coming into the kitchen on an older house. This is a 1960s house. I'm making a second cup of coffee now, and you can see what's going on with the coffee maker. It's at a very low amperage right now. It's setting itself up. It's doing its preliminaries there. You see, it's just jumped up to between 11 and 12 amps AC. So yeah, that way you can see it real clearly. You see that jump, and it's gonna stay in this range for about 50 seconds. So and that's how it works. So there's one use for the 902 FC, and also a very handy tool is this AC line splitter that's made by Amp Probe. 
and then you just it's any cell phone will work just fine you just use the Fluke Connect app and uh, this is real handy when you're making measurements in a panel you can you can lock this up in a panel and you can just measure it overnight you get a whole graph of just what's going on for troubleshooting purposes I'll put a link in my video description for the Fluke 902 FC HVAC meter I'll also put links for the amp probe AC line splitter, the Fluke T6 meter, and for the Fluke Pack 30 professional tool backpack. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.